What's up? Yo, Hi. Whoa. We are here to do a reaction to the final trailer for Valerian, Ooh. which mm. I don't think Iffy and Pamela know anything about, which is no, exciting to me. Not at all. I know about Valerian Steel. I like. This I know. I, I like looked up a Wikipedia article about where like the origin of Valerian is. I was like, oh, it's like some really old ass comics. All right, hell yeah. Yeah, man. I'm excited. Uh, I'm really pumped about this because Fifth Element's one of my favorite movies of all time. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, wait. What does it have to do with the Fifth Element? Luke Besson. It's his next. His next big movie. Luke Besson. Oh, New, Luke Besson. Okay, I thought you were going to be like, okay, so The Fifth Element, this is yeah, actually yeah. This a know. sequel. I was, like, was going to be like, what? I missed a huge part of that Wikipedia page. <laughs> yeah. I, that, that was not on there. Uh, okay, okay. Spiritually, though, spiritually, though, spiritually? I'm anxious to see what you guys think about this trailer because the style and the tone of it is the closest thing I think we've had to Fifth Element since Fifth Element. Hmm. Like, it feels like Luke Besson, like sci-fi like the like when fifth element came out it felt so fresh and so unique for a sci-fi movie mm -hmm. yeah. and this has that same feeling like it, it were it would be really easy to be very tired of sci-fi well right i'm gonna now. go in pretty hard on this because uh the fifth element is actually a staple in my family like we oh. watch that together all the time that's what made me a huge fan of bruce willis i mean just the, the opera the scene just like all of it all of it okay okay so I'm ready. good so I'm good ready. so i think we just do it i think we just go in cold just, with you guys okay. and see what you think okay all right let's go oh that's not the let's button. get the annotations that's not the button Oh wow. I like her outfit. Ooh. So pretty. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. Oh wow. So <gasps> She's vivid. got a little lizard pet. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh wow. Welcome to Alpha, the city of a thousand planets. After centuries of peace and prosperity, no! an unknown force wants to destroy all we have created. Agents Valerian and Laureline, you have less than ten hours to find the threat and eliminate it. Let's get That's to gangster's paradise. Yeah, yeah. I heard it. Yeah. All right, Luke was Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That's Whoa. That's like a video game, right? Ah. Uh -huh. I got, I'm getting goosebumps right know, now. So cool. I'm getting goosebumps. Whoa. History is on the march. Also, before okay. anyone jumps to correct so, me, I know that the Gangster Prep... It looks so good. Yeah, yeah. Luke, Gangster's Paradise probably sampled a song that <laughs> yeah. that was based off of. Like, I, I get no, it. No, that's Gangster's but, Paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know people always say, like, it was like, oh, that's this. And it was like, well, no, it's actually this. Like, yeah, I know, but that's the point of reference. So, yeah. Uh, so my first question are... is, is what the, the male and female in the, the graphic novel, who are they? I have no clue. I'm going in blind to this movie. Because, like, what I want to know is, like, so when you set up a scene, especially in a trailer, you're selling me on the whole thing. You're selling me on the premise. You're selling me on the CGI, the cinematography, everything, including the people who are cast in the roles. Now, when it sh first showed the two main characters, I'm assuming they're the two main characters, yeah. I, I wasn't sold on them. Right. And this uh, definitely, as far as trailers for this go, this trailer is the most visual based yes. the other two trailers had a lot more personality of the two uh the two leads the male and female okay. lead uh they're both like a really interesting team that feels very much like a bonnie and clyde kind of situation which okay. is really cool uh and i think the second trailer especially set up the uh the female character very well in a sense of like they're very much equals and it's okay. not like a 
love interests kind of, you know, follow the brother man. And sister, about, I, brother and sister? I don't think they're brother and sister. I think they're together or partners. I think they mentioned that they're partners in one of the trailers. I, I, hmm. I, it's one of those things, like, I know when you're doing these trailer actions, sometimes people are just like, oh, why don't you know more about it? It's like, honestly, I'm more excited by some of these films when I try not to over-research yeah. it. Because yeah. I want to be surprised. I want to go into this movie with no idea what I'm about to see and yeah. just be blown away. And as the third trailer, I, I would definitely say this is the most visual. Mm-hmm. It's the most just setting up this world, this other world, and yeah. all of its visual splendor, which gets me really, really excited. But I would have to agree with you, no character work whatsoever. I mean, there was no hardly any dialogue at all in it. I, yeah. but, and, and that's not really what bothered me, is that not, I mean, it, they have to take time to establish the character, but visually, like, immediately looking at them, I just don't see them as the front man and woman of a, a sci-fi film. And don't, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people who weren't sold on Gal Gadot being... Mm-hmm. Wonder Woman, but she did a phenomenal job. So yeah. I, I, initially, I'm gonna put put aside my initial judgments and be like, okay, you guys can floor me. I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna give them the opportunity to to floor me because I am interested in this movie. I am really yeah. interested in this movie. Yeah, I think I saw the earlier one, and I was kind of that. Like, I think Zach's right, where it's like you kind of see more of them, and that's what gets you interested because like the dude is like this kind of quiet kind of dude and she's kind of like the, it seems like the brains but like still got her own skills mm-hmm. and it is like kind of like I think I might have saw the same trailer because you see this dude and you're like oh I guess he protects her and then she does this kick ass stuff and you're like oh no never mind okay. yeah, um, partners and because yeah. I think someone said in one of the trailers like your partner and it's like they're I don't. I don't know. Like if they're if they've been hired. They look to help. like they're brother and sister. Like I'm. That's what I'm. Pu- I'm putting that in. Yeah. Saying it's brother I, I, and sister. I can, I can almost see Adam in the back being like, no. Yeah. Uh, Adam, any tips? Are they brother and sister? He has no idea either. We're all going in blind. Uh, all, this is we're great. All we're all going in blind. I gotta say, there is something about going into a movie blind. I remember one time. That's you exciting know, to yeah, me. Yeah, I, I think the last time I like went into a movie truly br- blind is I went to see uh, Noah, uh, uh, the one by um, Aronofsky, and nice. I was super high, and it. <laughs> I didn't know that there was going to be golems in it. Apparently, there was golems in the trailer, but I grew up in a Catholic school. I grew up in a Catholic school, so I literally spent like 10 minutes debating whether or not I was too high for this movie. Like, yeah. Because it was like, I, but if I would have saw the trailer, I would have known that golem was there, would not have caught me off guard. I got to say, you, you got to go in blind sometimes. Well, and I'll, yeah, you definitely have to go in blind, and especially because it's such a sci-fi and it's based on a graphic novel. I learned my lesson because I used to read uh, the Ender series, like Ender's Game and yeah. Ender's Shadow and all those books growing up. So when I saw the movie, I had such an expectation that I was severely disappointed, and not mm. that it did very well to people who hadn't seen. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't in any way a blockbuster, but still, when, you, when you're a big fan, like people out there who are big fans of Valyrian, they probably have these huge expectations yeah. and you know but the well, thing I believe with it's a fairly old yeah it's novel. like it's like straight so, up I so someone what, like my dad would come in yeah. and be yeah. like this that's is why, how that's it's why supposed I think it's to be smart because a modern audience who's going to go see this movie is going to be completely unaware okay you have this great source material that all already did all the world building for you but 80% of your audience isn't going to go reach out to that source material they're not okay. going to go check it out which i think is an interesting play for the film as a whole because most films now at this level with this kind of budget bank on more of a safe bet they're banking on yeah like okay it's a comic book movie they're gonna already know the characters they can they're all this marketing has already kind of been done uh it, it's it's interesting to me that they're going off that yeah they're probably definitely not brother and sister uh, <laughs> oh based on the based way that the she's like <laughs> the publication she's date 1967 wow so, her story's fascinating. Yeah. Uh, the character, so her Loreline. Yeah, so Loreline is the is the female character, and it seems like uh, uh, Valerian and Loreline. Valerian is the dude, I guess. Yeah. All right, uh, and it was like a French one, so you know, you Your know, your ship free. name would be Valorline. <laughs> yeah. well, that makes it another thing. But that you're I, not going to see many U.S. audience members looking out the source material because it's French. Yeah, it's not even. You're not going to be. But I think oh, there's wow. probably some translations. But we ain't, we're not is a peasant girl from 11th century France. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa. Oh gosh! No, no, no we gotta done. stop. We gotta stop. I'm done. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We gotta go online. We gotta go online. Go on blind. Gotta go on blind. First sentence right there: A peasant girl from 11th century France. Okay. Time travel. That's time travel. Time. Now there's time travel. We're great. We're good. <laughs> 
That's I'm all excited. we needed to it know. It really good. Yeah. What, I, what I like, though, and I'm, I was so excited when I went to see Guardians to see a sci-fi movie that was letting itself be a fucking comic book and just be super colorful, very bright. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I really thought... For all of its flaws, I thought after Avatar came out that sci-fi would start being a little bit more mm -hmm. adv advantageous with its color because he, he pushed some really bright, yeah. vibrant yeah. things oh, out yeah. there with that movie. Look. But it really didn't. It all went back to really gray, really yeah. like... And Marvel was a big problem in, of that. And I was glad to see Guardians of the Galaxy do it. And now in this trailer, the color just it yeah. looks so good. The only uh, directors to get it right were the Wachowski sisters with the hit movie Speed Racer. Uh, you know, you, you watch Speed Racer and in the theater, you come out and the world is bleak because yeah. the colors were popping. It's I'm not like, going to argue with you on this one. That's, you're dead yeah. on. Yeah, Speed <laughs> so Racer good. was the shit. I'm not joking. I love Speed Racer. Speaking Ninja, of Speed Racer, like don't forget to watch Heroclix is Indomitable with Scott Porter from Speed Racer on Monday nights here on Hyper RPG. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I was wondering uh, where that was going. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's over now, right? No. Oh, it's it's still welcome, going. Welcome to our schedule this Monday. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Every Monday night at nine p.m. for eight weeks, releasing new figures. <laughs> All right. I don't well, know what's a bit? What's real anymore? <laughs> I'm. So, I'm, anyways, going back to the topic at hand, let us know what you think of the Valerian trailer, and if you are a fan of the comic book, let us know what your expectations are. And don't bullshit us. Don't bullshit us. Don't go read that Wikipedia and We're then tell us know. that you're a huge fan of the We're comic know. book. You non-French speaker. This should be y'all. Y'all writing, writing comics for us. <laughs> yeah, write the comics. Send us your best fan fix. Let us know and make sure to check out all of our other awesome trailer reactions on the channel. Thank you for checking out Hyper RPG. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yeah, do and it. Bye. Yeah, love you, bye.